What would you do if you were living here during a global pandemic? This is the Dehesha refugee camp. It's one of 19 Palestinian refugee camps in the occupied West Bank. The residents here are in the midst of fighting a second wave of the coronavirus pandemic that's spreading like wildfire throughout the occupied Palestinian territory. Let's go inside and see how people here are dealing with fighting COVID-19. For the first time in months, Palestinian refugee camps are seeing a spike in COVID-19 cases, raising concerns over the potentially devastating effects the virus could have on disadvantaged communities like this one. The Dehesha refugee camp is the largest of three Palestinian refugee camps in the city of Bethlehem. It's home to more than 13,000 refugees living in an area of less than half a square kilometer. يعني احنا عندنا الفيروس بنتكل بشكل كبير داخل المخيم يعني لحد الان عندنا 65 حاله مصابه داخل المخيم طبعا بنحكي عن 65 هنا في اقل من اسبوع يعني انا بتوقع من هان لشهر او يمكن من هان لشهرين اذا بضل الوضع هيك داخل المخيم راح نسجل عشرات الاصابات داخل المخيم Most refugee camps like this one are home to three even four generations of Palestinian refugee families and with so many people living in such a small space Overcrowding has become a major issue for Palestinian refugees during COVID-19. This is what an average street in the refugee camp looks like. The houses are so close together that I can have one hand on my house and my other hand on my neighbor's house. That's what people here are dealing with. They're trying to fight the virus in extremely close quarters. يعني خلينا نحكي مثلا اذا هي الدار مصابه بفيروس كورونا للاسف هاي الدار بتم نقل العدوى لها وغالبيه الدور داخل المخيم تم نقل العدوى بحكم ان الدور قريبه على بعض تمام تلاقي مثلا دار زي هاي مصابه والدار زي هاي مش مصابه بخافوا يفتحوا الشبابيك in many Palestinian refugee camps, the existing infrastructure has remained unchanged for years, unable to keep up with the rapidly growing population. In most homes, you can find anywhere between 10 to 16 people living in the same apartment. This has made it impossible for people to self-quarantine if they fear they may have the virus. On top of problems with infrastructure and social distancing, camps are facing a severe lack of emergency funding and services during COVID-19. The UNRWA, or UNRWA, is the UN agency responsible for administering Palestinian refugee camps across the Middle East. But UNRWA has been suffering a major financial crisis for years, forcing the agency to slash essential services like healthcare and cash for work programs. During the pandemic, the need for humanitarian aid in these communities has increased tenfold, as thousands of people have lost their jobs due to COVID-19 lockdowns. But residents of these camps say that they have received little to no services from the Palestinian government or from agencies like UNRWA. ألفين شخص محجورين غير المصابين طب هذولا ما في أي احتياج منهم وين دور الوكالة؟ As the summer comes to a close, families in the camp are now being faced with the reality that they may have to send their kids back to school in less than a month. And with most families living below the poverty line, online schooling at home is out of the question. يعني بصراحة أنا ما إنهم يتعلموا وبنفس الوقت في خوف إنه لا سمح الله حدا يتأذى منهم. من هذا المرض مو اذا بحكي لك انا بصف يعني قد هاي الاوضاع يعني ما يكون في 40 طالب اصلا احنا من الاول كان عندنا مشكله انه يكون في اقتضاض في الصف كيف هلا لما في عندنا وباء عندكم كمبيوتر في البيت ولا لابتوب فبيدرسوا على التليفونات او تليفون بنت الكبيره وهذا صعب للاطفال انه يركزوا على تليفون ما هو انا زوجي عامل مثلا فصعب اني انا اجيب لابتوب او اجيب كمبيوتر او اجيب اجهزه يعني غالية أو لهيك إشي خاصة بالوقت هذا وقت مش بس علي على الجميع صعب على الجميع بفترة الكورونا هاي كان صعب على الجميع Despite the best efforts of local residents to try to prevent the spread of the virus cases in the West Bank continue to rise in the hundreds every single day 
leaving the most vulnerable parts of the Palestinian population even more at risk. Hey everyone, I'm Yumna Patel, Mondo Weiss's Palestine correspondent. This was the first episode in a new five-part series on COVID-19 in Palestine. If you like this video and would like to see more content like it, don't forget to hit that like and share button and follow and subscribe to Mondo Weiss on social media.